Coming to the stage next, welcome Sid Bozo doing a story called Thankfully Things Never Change. Hi. I know. Hi. It's my sisters. Okay, so um, I first met Kathy at the, on my first day at my new school. We were told by the teacher to line up in pairs. She said to me, will you be my peach? And I, I laughed and took her arm. We were eight. We first met Jane on her first day at our school. She had really straight, long brown hair and wore this big, huge plastic blue raincoat that took years for her to grow into. <laughs> we were nine. We stayed friends all the way through elementary school and through high school. We did parties together and had boyfriends and broken hearts and went to dances and, and, and birthday parties and then grad. After high school, we started to drift apart. We invited each other to our weddings and then our baby showers. And then it got so that we never saw much of each other and we started to see each other again at our parents' funerals. And then one of our husbands died. We were 42. At that funeral, one of us said, we have got to start seeing each other more often. So we did. We started hanging out together more, at least a couple times a year. We'd go hiking and go for dinners and stuff. This one day, we're sitting on the balcony in Jane's backyard, drinking lemon cello martinis. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Kathy said she had to walk her dog, so we all went down to the rotary trail. The rotary trail was full of families on their bikes and stuff. It was a sunny spring afternoon. The river was running really fast. We went into a lesser used part of the trail. It was more forested. It was cooler in there. We walked over a little footbridge and looked down into the river. At that point in that tributary, it was deep, but it wasn't running very fast. We smoked a joint. We were 54. Somebody flicked the roach on the bank of the river with Smokey the Bear's words in the back of my mind, I made my way through the little bit of scrub and I said, I'm gonna pee on this like a guy. <laughs> so I started to pull my stretchy jeans down. I got them to my knees and Kathy said, I've seen this show before, I'm taking the dog for a walk. <laughs> Jane stayed on the trail, and from her perspective, she could tell me straight up, no, you're going to pee on your waistband. <laughs> so I pulled my stretchy jeans further down to my ankles, and Jane helped me negotiate <laughs> until I made that reefer smolder. I was standing <laughs> I was standing on the side of the river and it was about a 45 degree angle and it was dirt only about three feet from the side of the river I was concentrating so much and chatting with Jane that I lost my balance I started running towards the river and in a split second I had to make a decision. 
<laughs> right before my, right, be, right in front of me at the beginning of the river side was a big boulder just underneath the surface of the water. I knew that if I took a header into that, I was going to get hurt. So I decided right then and there, very quickly, that I was going to dive over. <laughs> The boulder. So I did that. So I dove in, and what I didn't realize was that I had actually di di dived into a crevasse. Yeah. And I was head down between two boulders and I couldn't turn to get back up. I started to get really scared. The water was freezing cold, but I still had it in my mind that if I don't drown, I'm gonna want my pants. <laughs> So it was more of a cartwheel effect that I had to bring myself up to the side of the boulder and finally get my head above the water. Jane was standing there stunned. I had to, I couldn't lift up my leg. So I pushed myself with my elbows up the boulder, trying the whole time to keep my elastic jeans taut. I got to the top of the boulder and shimmied up to the shore. I said, Jane, help me. <laughs> so she took out, a, she put out her hand and when she pulled me, she said, oh, I farted. <laughs> Kathy came back with her dog and saw me shivering, freezing cold, soaking wet with my jeans around my ankles. And she said, what happened? I was gone for like two minutes. I got my pants back up and somebody put a jacket over my shoulder and we made our way across the little footbridge. We looked down into the water and saw that that crevasse between the two boulders was actually only about this wide. Wow. Yeah, I said, I said to them, you guys, that could have been so much worse. And Cassie said, yeah, it could have been me or Jane. <laughs> I, so I laughed and took her arm. Thank you. Good work. Give it up for Sid Bozell.